Okey baik, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera semua. Hari ini kita nak tengok subtopic of rotational axis. What is it? It is about how object tends to resist rotation, which is called moment of inertia. So di dalam rotational dynamics kita nak tengok macam mana objek tu untuk melawan rotation. Okey. So moment of inertia I ni depends on dia punya mass, dia punya shape and dia punya position. And later you will learn that this has an equation which is I sama dengan M R square. Okay, so the M is the mass, shape tak ada apa-apa equation and position ada dia punya R lah from of the rotational axis. So, rotational axis ni apa? So, sama macam previous subtopic saya dah terangkan, kalau you ada satu rigid body, let's say this is a person, the rotational axis is actually dia punya separuh badan ini. So, probably over here. Okay, every object ada dia punya rotation axis. So, jika suatu objek tu lagi jauh daripada rotation axis, maka dia lagi susah nak rotate. Kalau objek tu lagi dekat dengan dia punya rotation axis, lagi senang untuk dia rotate. So, example is shown in the bottom here lah. Okay, as you can see here, if you have a dumbbell, dia sangat susah nak rotate sebab dia punya uh, rotation axis dekat tengah-tengah. Okay, rotation axis satu objek will always be at the middle part. Okay, so mass is close to the rotation axis, thus it is uh, easier to rotate dia punya badan. Okay, kalau kita dekat dengan dia punya rotation axis. But if the mass is put here, kalau kita cuba rotatekan dia, maka dia jauh daripada dia punya rotation axis here. Okay, the bigger the R, maka the harder it is to rotate an object. So, saya harap you nampak in this subtopic, we want to explore how things are difficult to rotate. Okay, so this subtopic is very analogous atau sama dengan inertia. Okay, a recap of inertia is the bigger the mass of an object, the harder it is to change its state of motion. Okay, so lagi susah untuk kita bergerakkan suatu objek yang lagi massive. So, in this case, nama pun kat sini moment of inertia. So, it's the same, larger the mass, is harder to move while the object is hard and harder to rotate. So, di dalam ni, lagi besar satu objek, lagi berat dia, maka lagi susah untuk dia berputar. Now, let's go into the definition of moment of inertia in more detail. Okay, as you can see here, moment of inertia punya definition adalah apa? It's the property of an object to resist its rotational motion. Agak lawa ah, sebab this subtopic namanya rotational dynamics. Tapi tengok-tengok, dia resist rotation. Okay, the equation of moment of inertia is I sama dengan MR square. It depends on the mass, position from the rotational axis and its shape. Okay, shape dia, certain shape seperti mana you tahu macam bola, senang nak rotate. Uh, tapi contohnya macam segi tiga ke segi empat, mungkin sukar sikit untuk rotate. So, we're going to learn, uh, ada tak moment of inertia specific untuk specific of, uh, shape of an object. Okay, it's a scalar quantity, maksudnya arah you, you rotate object you tak berapa penting. And units dia, because mass is in kilogram, R square dalam meter square. So, the unit is in kilogram meter square. Okay, so here we will see two example of an object. First, well not an object lah. First kita tengok kepada dia punya particle. Then kita tengok dia kepada rigid body dia. Okay, kalau kita hanya ada one particle or one zara for a single particle of mass m and a distance r from the rotation axis. So this is our particle and this is the distance of the particle to the rotation axis. Simple je kita ada i sama dengan m r square where i is the moment of inertia, m is the mass. R square adalah distance from the mass to the rotation axis. Okay, kita just buat macam itulah. Tapi kita tahu bahawa setiap objek diciptakan oleh banyak beribu-ribu berjuta-juta partikel. Okay, so contoh macam badan kita dicipta oleh banyak-banyak zarah. So, kita nak tengok moment of inertia of a rigid body. So, ini badan kita. Okay, badan kita ada banyak zarah. So, kalau kita ada lebih daripada satu zarah, apa kita buat? Kita kena... Tambahkan semua is the sum of moment inertia of each individual particle of a body. So, kalau you ada banyak zarah, you just tambahlah. Uh, zarah pertama, zarah kedua, zarah ketiga, zarah empat, lima, enam, tujuh. So, it's the just tambahkan sum saja of individual uh, mass and individual uh, distance to the rotation axis. Okay. So, we will see how we use this equation in the next video of example. Okay. Just a note. Okay, moment of inertia macam saya kata tadi depends on the mass and radius. Okay, uh, radius ni kurang tepat lah. It's actually the distance, uh, distance of each particle from the rotation axis. So, bukan radius lah. So, tolong berhati-hati. So, 
Kalau salah satu ni besar, maka moment of inertia dia besar. Which is logical lah. I sama dengan m r square. If you have a bigger mass, then the moment of inertia should be bigger. If the distance is also longer atau lagi panjang, maka moment of inertia you lagi besar, maka susah untuk objek tu to rotate. Okay? Harder it is for an object to rotate. And macam saya cerita before, different type of object akan ada different equation for the moment of inertia. Tetapi setiap object akan ada mass and component of r square in them. Okay? So let's see in the bottom. So this is five example of various body yang ada different moment of inertia. Dia. Kita ada sini hook or ring or a thin cylindrical shape. You ada macam satu gelung bulat, you akan nampak dia punya equation is just simply m r square. Kalau dia adalah satu solid di mana tengah dia tu ada pekerja, ada macam benda, maka dia adalah 1 per 2 m r square. Maksudnya, uh, in a sense, 1 per 2 ni 0.5. Um, it's a bit easier lah to rotate something. Okay, kalau contohnya sini, m r square dia just value 1, so agak besar lah. Ini dia darabkan dalam ni jadi lagi kecil. So, actually a solid cylinder or this has easier way, is easier to rotate. Sebab dia punya value of moment of inertia dia nanti jadi kecil. Similarly, if you see here, okay, kita ada uniform long rod, kita ada solid sphere, kita ada hollow sphere. Okay, the solid sphere actually has a lower moment of inertia sebab 2 per 5 is actually 0.4 so 0.4 darab dengan you punya mr square punya value ni kan value dia akan dapat lagi kecil maka lagi kecil lah moment of inertia lagi senang lah objek you nak rotate ok perlu tak you hafal uh, shape of the object punya moment of inertia tidak it will be given to you in the question so you don't have to Memorize. So, you only need to know how to do question related to moment of Nisha, which we will see in the next video. I hope